Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather and welcome to 2021. Now this year's adventures are going to take us all kinds of places, so I hope you'll subscribe and join me on these adventures. Now my first adventure for the new year is fish. Now I do not like fish. I have met only one fish that I liked and his name was Nemo and he was in a cartoon. Um, but eating fish, I have never been a fan of. And I don't know if it's the texture or the flavor or what it is, but I am determined to find some fish recipes that I love for 2021. Not only because it has good omegas, but because I feel like I should like fish. They look pretty, like salmon looks amazing, but I put it in my mouth and I'm like, no, I can't do it. I have a Norwegian family and we have fish every season and I have to choke my way through it. Now, we're not talking about the lutefisk. No, no, no. We're talking about cod and other white fish and some salmon and I eat it because everybody else is eating it, but I don't enjoy it. And so I'm trying to change my taste buds and maybe find a few recipes that I can share with you. So today we are going to do cod in the air fryer. Are you ready for this adventure? I don't know if I am. I really hope I like it. Let's go. All right, so I decided to start with cod because that is probably one of the most mild fish out there. Um, they use cod to do beer battered fish. So I had cod when we were in London and I did really enjoy it. So I thought for here at home, that's what I would start with. And we're actually doing a take on a Pampered Chef recipe, but I'm putting some twists in there because that's what I do. So let's just get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna want to take our green beans, and this is just a regular snap green bean. I just snapped off the ends. We're gonna add some olive oil to it, and then we are gonna add some sage, rosemary, thyme, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. And then we're also going to add some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it all in, and I will grab my salt and pepper. And probably it's like about, uh, a teaspoon to half a teaspoon of everything. So it's even amounts of everything. Um, maybe a little less pepper, but usually I just eyeball it. And then I'm gonna take my tongs and I'm gonna give these a good toss. And basically I'm just looking for some seasoning to be on every green bean. Now, alternately you could use some fresh um, garlic or something like that, um, but we know this recipe, we love this recipe. We have this on our greens all of the time. So this is my kind of mixture here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to layer these green beans on this tray. And that looks good enough. And then I will go ahead and do the other tray. If you're not using the Pampered Chef air fryer, that's okay you would just put all of your beans in the bottom of your basket and hope it turns out the same. I do not have the other air fryer. I used to, I gave it away after I got this one. Um, but I think that it would work the same. If you have a regular air fryer and you try this and it works, please leave me a comment just so that I am, I know. And I, it should work because you'll see it's pretty, it's a pretty easy recipe. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna work on our batter. So here I have some gluten-free panko breadcrumbs. Um, you don't have to use gluten-free, but as some of you know, I am gluten-free, so I try to throw in the gluten-free things whenever possible. So we've used these before. You can find them at most grocery stores. They're actually really good. They're really tasty. So I'm not, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything when I use this brand. The brand is 4C Crumbs Gluten-Free Panko Breadcrumbs. So we're gonna take a cup of breadcrumbs and four tablespoons of butter. And we have some Italian herb seasoning, some salt and some pepper. And we're just gonna give that a good mix. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to get our fish. 
Now, depending, this is going to make all of this fish, but um, the original recipe is only for two to four pieces of fish, depending on their size. So uh, I will leave a link to the recipe for two pieces of fish, but I have doubled everything. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take a piece of cod. I'm going to press it between my hands to try to remove all of the extra moisture that's in it. And then we are gonna set it right on top of our green beans. Easy enough, right? All right, and next we are going to take our mayonnaise and paint our fish. So I have about half of a cup of mayonnaise. I don't know if I'm gonna use the full half of a cup. And by the way, this is homemade mayonnaise. You can catch that video um, coming up shortly. Either it was just posted or uh, it will be posting within the next couple days. Homemade mayonnaise was an adventure. So if you're interested in making your own homemade mayonnaise, check out that video. Um, like I said, it's either right before this one or right after this one. I'm not sure how the scheduling works for these two videos. Maybe I will make sure that it's already posted. So I'll leave the link in the comments below. And I did indeed use all of that mayonnaise. Uh, I actually forgot a step. You are actually supposed to spray your trays with oil. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't bite me in the butt at the end, but make sure you spray your trays with oil. Okay, so now we are gonna do the super fun part. We are going to cake these fish with these panko. So, um, Basically, I'm just going to pick it up and I am going to drop it right on the top of my fish, like so. Pretty easy, right? All right, now that they're all crusted, we are gonna go ahead and get them into our machine. Just pat that down a little. They, they look so pretty. Don't they look pretty? I think they look amazing. Okay, let's get one into the bottom area. And one into the top area. Make sure our guard is on. Yep, the guard is in there. All right, we are gonna move this to roast and we are going to set it for nine minutes. And there we have it. Nine minutes, I'll see you back here to check the results. See ya. All right, the timer has just gone off. And we are gonna take our easy read thermometer and we are gonna stick one into a fish and check the temperature. And it needs to be at 140, so it looks like we are gonna stick it in there for another five minutes. All right, welcome back. We have one minute or less left, and I wanted to tell you that it took about 15 minutes in total to get my fish to about 140 degrees. So as soon as this goes off, it is going to be ready. So how is your 2021 going so far? Have you made any New Year's resolutions or goals? My goal is to eat more fish. Let's see if I can stick to that. We'll see. I can't be the only one that doesn't like fish, right? There are other people out there that don't like fish, but I'm going for it, I'm trying. All right, we're done. So this took a total of 15 minutes to get to this point, but wow, look at that beautiful fish. See, I think it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. I just get, I just don't like the taste of it very much in certain things. I mean, I like fish tacos. Maybe, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so let's take, I'll take a piece of this fish closest to me. I'll take the small one, no one judge. Oops, I lost a little piece. And put it on my plate and I did make some rice. And we will take some beans. 
But as always, we must know how does she taste. Let's look, let's get a good close up here too. So first I'll taste for you the beans because I know they're good. Mmm, they're al dente, but they're so good. I love fresh green beans. Mmm, they're good. All right. Now, let's cut into the fish. So I'll get it close to the camera as I cut into it. And we can see this beautiful fish inside. Yay, flaking apart, nice and cooked. And then here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I think I like cod. At least I like this recipe. Mmm. It's not fishy, which is really good. I mean, I guess that's why I like fish and chips because it doesn't taste fishy. I wonder why cod doesn't taste fishy. Do you know? Mmm. The breading is nice and crunchy but the fish underneath is really soft and flaky. I don't know, can you see that? That's good. I would make that recipe again. That's really good. All right, well, I officially like cod, at least when it's made in the air fryer, in 15 minutes, like this. Mmm. And with the beans, really good. Mmm. Any of the beans that were underneath the cod are a little less cooked than the other ones. They're still cooked, but they're really al dente. So I think next time I might put all of the beans on one tray and the cod on another tray. That way they all get their turn with the, the circulation around the top of the bean too. Um, but that's my only complaint with this recipe. So I will definitely make this again this is a good enough recipe look i'm already going to finish the piece of cod here so hey my 2021 isn't starting off too bad what about yours do you have any goals for 2021 any food goals for 2021 what kind of adventures are you going to make yourself go on this year in your kitchen i want to know because mine is going to be fish and other stuff too, but fish for right now. Cause look, cod, I'm eating cod. If you would have told me last year that I would be purposefully putting fish into my mouth, I would have told you you're crazy. But look, here I am and it's pretty darn good. The cod is perfect. The beans anywhere that they weren't covered by fish are perfect. The rest of them, they need a hot minute. So, all right, you guys. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. This year, we're going to do all sorts of fun stuff, so I hope you'll stick around and adventure with me. All right, see you later. Bye.